Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make Google Chrome faster in Windows 11 24H2, the latest version of Windows 11 that was released quite recently. So Windows 11, not necessarily 24H2, but we're talking about 24H2 because it is the latest version, has a new feature which is called Efficiency Mode. And this Efficiency Mode will enable for certain apps in order to limit the resources they use to save resources on the system. But in case of browsers, for example, Edge, Chrome, and so on, this could make the browsers move slowly, crash more, and so on. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can fix this issue on Windows 11 24H2. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, to test out what I've said before, I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And whenever I right click on the taskbar and then go to Task Manager, we're going to notice that Chrome will be opened up. Of course, it has multiple processes. And you see these green leaves here with the efficiency mode enabled, this process is in efficiency mode to limit resources used by the process. And you may say, of course, really easily, we can disable this. Yeah, you can disable this by right clicking on the process and then disabling efficiency mode. But what you'll notice is that after a few minutes of use, other processes will start, certain processes will restart, and efficiency mode will be automatically re-enabled on those processes. So this is not a permanent solution, and you cannot right click on the main app to disable efficiency mode. So that is one thing that we have to figure out how to do. But there is a way to do this, and that is making a Chrome shortcut with different launch options, we can call them. In those launch options, we're going to specify Google Chrome to not open up using efficiency mode. So let's see how we can do that. We're going to have to exit out from Google Chrome, search for Chrome in the search box, and then go to open file location. As you can see, we have a shortcut of Chrome here, and we can use it, or we can create a new one on our desktop, which I'm going to do. I'm going to right click on this shortcut, show more options, and then send to desktop create shortcut. And we have a new shortcut of Google Chrome here. It is 100% necessary to create a shortcut because if you, for example, go into the default installation location of Chrome, you won't be able to change the launch options or the target of Chrome. So you have to create a shortcut in order to be able to change that. Now that we have our shortcut, we're going to right click on it and then click on properties. And we have here the target or the launch options. For this, we're going to copy and paste this command. This is basically a command that adds a new thing to the same existing thing that we had here. And that is disable features, use echo for background process. So this will basically disable the efficiency mode whenever we are using Google Chrome. And now what we have to do, click on apply. Okay, and now let's run Google Chrome from this shortcut. And what you'll notice if we go to Task Manager, that Google Chrome will no longer use efficiency mode on any of the processes from the start. And this is how you can fix it. Of course, the shortcut, you can right click on it, show more options, pin to taskbar and so on, and you'll have it on your computer. And whenever you are opening it, of course, you'll no longer need to worry about efficiency mode, limiting your resources, and making your browser slow. I think this is a pretty nice thing that we can fix in Windows 11. Now, as a bonus for people that are using multiple profiles, you're going to notice that here inside target, you're going to have also a command that specifies the profile directory. So don't delete that. Just add to that this new command, disable features, use echo for background processes. And let me show how that would look. Basically, after the location of Chrome space, then profile directory equal the name of the profile, basically. And after that, of course, a space and add the command. This will be automatically inserted here if you have multiple profiles. So just pay attention to not delete it. Of course, as I've said, if you have multiple profiles in Google Chrome. So basically, this is how easily you can fix Google Chrome running slow or limiting resources inside Windows 11 just by disabling the efficiency mode inside Windows 11 24H2. I think that is the case also for older versions of Windows 11. Of course, the commands that I've used in this video will be in the article below. So you can get them from there. Just copy and paste them and use them on your launch options in Google Chrome. And this can also be used on certain other browsers, for example, in Edge. In the article below in the video description, you're going to have more info from the official Microsoft forum where you can find commands for Microsoft Edge as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.